Bucks County is, is a countryside destination and the covered bridges really fit the fabric of, of our county. Very popular destination for New Yorkers, New Jerseyans, Philadelphians um, to come and experience all we have in our, in our like, outdoor paradise. We've got lots of small towns and main streets throughout the, the county and there's a covered bridge not far from one of those towns. At one point there was more than 1,500 bridges within the state of Pennsylvania. So now there's, there's less than 300 that still exist and we have 12 here in Bucks County. Some people say that the, we do have a haunted bridge uh, here in Bucks County. Uh, so they say Van Zant Cover Bridge is also known as Crybaby Bridge. If you drive through there at night, apparently you can hear the cries of a baby. All the bridges here in Bucks County are made of local wood, such as hemlock, oak, and pine. Why is the bridge covered? It really just comes down to being able to preserve the wooden bridge itself. So, you know, as it's covered, the wood will last longer and wouldn't have to be replaced as often. There's a couple agencies that really look to preserve the covered bridges. There's Herdage Conservancy, and there's a Covered Bridge Society of Bucks County that really puts their heart and soul in maintaining them so they're preserved for years to come. So the covered bridges span anywhere from 56 feet long up to 130 feet. One here in Tyler State Park is almost 170 feet long, uh, but this one is not drivable. All the other ones are. The South Perkesee Covered Bridge is one of the most historic uh, in Pennsylvania, and it's right here in Bucks County. So the bridges are very popular with photography, especially the Schofield Bridge here in Tyler Park. Fall is a great time to visit Bucks County with the leaves changing colors. It's just a beautiful time of year, and it really makes the covered bridges even pop more as the colors change. And we have you know, so much outdoor space, but then we've got these downtowns that have restaurants and nightlife, um, so you kind of have a great balance where you can get out and enjoy the quaint countryside, but also have a great meal and a good time at night. We have more than two dozen breweries scattered throughout Bucks County, as well as about 10 wineries and a few distilleries as well. But Bucks County is a great place to do uh, hiking, biking. We have lots of outdoor activities and lots of great parks. And people just love you know, getting in the car, driving through the countryside, driving through the covered bridge. It can take a few hours if you want to hit all the bridges, but you know, we encourage people, come, hit some, stay overnight the next day, hit some more and have a good time in Bucks County. Hi, I'm Shirley Men. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.